Hey guys, it's I uh, Luke, and today we're gonna re review three Mac OS's. Which one's real, you may ask? Isn't it obvious? This one. While well, these two are Linux based operating systems, this one's the Mac OS version. Trying to keep it alive. This one's the Pear OS, and this one's the Ubuntu. Now I'm keeping this on life support mainly because it it wouldn't work on real hardware. So um, yeah, let's take a review at it to see which one these two are the best fakes. Like this video if you want to see more of this content. With that, let's get into the video. Starting off with the real version of Macintosh or Hackintosh in this case, running macOS Catalina. And it can read DMG files, unlike the knockoffs. So, um, it can run Finder. So, um, all this files, ignore these screenshots, those are for videos, but, um, anyway. Launchpad, let's see. I have lots of applications. Safari, which is the op main operating system but I use Chrome mail FaceTime messages maps photos screenshots contacts calendar reminders notes music podcast image capture TV photo booth QuickTime player uh, news app store system preferences yeah all these seem like real operating system Mac applications and let's see about this Mac Wow it looks like Mac OS Catalina here's the specs if you're interested in it and what this thing thinks it is alright here I have Final Cut Pro open while I take a look at the next operating system now Pear OS this looks a lot similar to Mac OS Catalina in every way except for this logo is a pear. But um I don't know if it's an iCarly thing, but I don't know either. So anyway, we're gonna take a look about this parentosh. Serial number nothing. Three point eight zero gigabytes, basically four. Parentosh PC system report or software update pair os catalina now that that is a true knockoff if you have this then that is a true knockoff here we're gonna take a look at the apps files launchpad what happens if we launch that dolphin what happens if we open that could not find the program dolphin wow that launchpad i mean it looks similar to Mac OS with its launch pad. Pafari, a knockoff version of Safari. Mail, which is kind of the cor it's a correct name basically. Cheese, which is basically a camera and not a FaceTime thing. P message, why not I message? Maps, which is correct name as well. Gwenview, not a correct name. K address book, now normally it would be contacts. Calendar, so they got it correct, the name. To do, reminders on my Mac. N K notes, which is actually notes on my Mac. P tunes, which is actually music on my Mac. G Potter, but it's actually podcasts. Pear Store, which is the App Store. System Settings and not System Preferences. Downloads and Trash Can, even though it's trash on my Mac. So the wallpaper looks the same, although I didn't have to download this. This just came pre-installed, although I had to change it from the light to the dark for this video. So, um, what can it do? Well, what happens if we launch Pafari? 
Unable to display this website. An error, I guess. Let's see, cheese? Wow, the quality looks really bad on this camera. Photo. And you can see the camera I'm filming on. Great. Next up, we have the Ubuntu Catalinux. Yes, you heard that right. It's not Catalina, it's Catalinux. I don't know why they decided to name it Catalinux. That seems like a mouthful for Mac users. But um, anyway, let's take a look at the applications on the dock. Oh. Uh, uh. Let's take a look at the applications on the dock. Files, which is actually Finder. Launchpad, which they got that name correct on those two. Google Chrome, which is, uh, normally it would be Safari, but you would have to download it yourself. Shotwell, which is not Gwenview, but it's all, most certainly not Photos. Evolution, they got that name incorrect. Calendar, they got that name correct. Ubuntu Software, and App Store on my Mac. LibreOffice Cal. I don't know if that name is correct since I don't have that on my Mac. LibreOffice Impress. Don't know if I have that application too. LibreOffice Writer. That would normally be Notes. VLC Media Player. I don't have that on my Mac. Settings, which is System Preferences on my Mac. Time Shift, which would be Time Machine. Notes, which they got that name correct. Terminal, which they also got that correct. No items in trash, so I'm assuming that's a correct name. Trash, what happens if we go up here? Oh, then Launchpad appears, even though it's glitched. What happens if we launch home? Wow. These items are on the left. Like, they actually got that correct. Let's see about the ParaOS thing. Let's see, I'm assuming they got all that correct. Let's see, if we open files, they also got that correct. <laughs> Except Google Chrome actually works this time. Google, what happens if we launch my YouTube channel? There's my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you can. I look YouTube Google Chrome. Wow. They don't even have that much. So, oh, and I'm running it on a VM, which is not, yes, English. I want that to be English. What? You can program this thing to be whatever thing you want. And there's the date. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for all three. Oh, and by the way, the so sound doesn't work. Mainly because I'm running it on a VM. But, um, anyway. Let's see. All three Macs have in common some applications. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you soon with another video if that ever comes out. Bye!